All right, so this is just a little uh, introduction for you into uh, some of the <clears throat> generations of rotors I've gone through, sort of the evolution of things. I started out with just a small rotor uh, cut out of uh, MDF, uh, half inch thick and uh, about six inches in diameter. And I put small half inch diameter, quarter inch thick uh, neodymium magnets around the edge. And um, this became uh, difficult to... It, came, it was really unworkable because the magnets were just too weak and I couldn't uh, maintain magnetic bond between two rotating uh, rotors like this. So then I went to double uh, rotors with two magnets. And that was still too weak. Then I went to triple rotors, three magnets. These, but I discovered these magnets just, they're strong, but they're not quite strong enough when you get any uh, sort of RPM to two adjacent rotors, the magnetic uh, bond is they just uh, they don't stay bonded together, they don't stay in sync. So I had to uh, upgrade to larger magnets and that's when I uh, went to uh, plexiglass rotors and these larger three-quarter inch diameter half inch thick neodymium magnets here and uh, they did better um, but because uh, these magnets are stronger but I still needed a better bond between the rotors because they, they would slip too easily. So that's when I went to this and I did uh, three three-quarter inch thick plexiglass rotors with uh, two, 12 magnets on each rotor, three rotors making a total of 36 magnets and this, this became much more workable and uh, I was able to uh, uh, maintain a bond between two adjacent uh, rotors in this sort of configuration. That's demonstrated here in this uh, model which you saw the video of uh, I did earlier uh, where I have the uh, drive motor here and the alternator here. Uh, this became uh, work quite workable. Um, I, one thing I had attention on was that uh, at high RPM and over a long period of time, the magnets uh, loosening up and flying off since there's just a screw into this uh, plexiglass with a brass insert, threaded brass insert, pounded into the plexiglass to hold them. I was just afraid that at, uh, over time and at high RPM these could come flying off. So I wanted to uh, work out some sort of a superior design. That's when I uh, graduated to this. Uh, this is another uh, attempt at uh, rotor configuration where the magnets are actually uh, mounted inside the rotor itself instead of just on the edge. I actually drilled holes and mounted them into the rotor because I thought uh, that would be a little bit s better bond for the magnet and less of a chance of them going flying off. So uh, this is just a little experimental setup I put, up, I put together here. Uh, you can see they do cog and uh, you get a little bit better uh, bond between the magnets because they're they're actually uh, closer together and not closer together but they they are in closer proximity for a longer duration of rotation in this configuration passing side by side the rotors overlapping side by side rather than just them fitting end to end so I thought I'd get more power from this sort of configuration. And I still think that's the case. However, I'm, I'm back to a problem where these magnets are just a little bit too small. And uh, you can see they easily go out of cog and I can't have that. So um, I thought maybe I could get away with these smaller magnets um, in this configuration since they are overlapping so much here. And, uh, but uh, it, they just don't grab well enough. So uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to go to the larger magnets after all. This is an attempt at uh, mounting the uh, magnets inside the rotor and uh, you can see here I just drilled holes and then I would uh, put the magnets in the rotor and uh, I thought that would be a uh, less of a chance of the magnets going flying off if they're actually inside the rotor. The problem was, uh, you know, I was working with this MDF which is really, really fast and easy to make a lot of rotors in a short amount of time. However, you run into a problem with the material just isn't strong enough. So like. This one, uh, for instance, just exploded on me when I got uh, too much RPMs on it. And uh, so I don't recommend MDF 
for your rotors unless you're going to just spin them by hand and you're just going to uh, just do a little test uh, tabletop test model that's not going to be motor driven because um, I just this MDF just just can't take the uh, the forces being a, the centrifugal force uh, from spinning so uh, uh, I, that's why I graduated now to uh, plexiglass.